each and every suicide is devastating for people around the person who dies by suicide. All over the world, an estimated 703,000 people die by suicide each year. One in every hundred deaths worldwide is a result of suicide. By raising awareness, reducing the stigma around suicide and encouraging well-informed action, we can reduce instances of suicide around the world. 10 September each year is observed as World Suicide Prevention Day across the world by the World Health Organization. Hope is what keeps us going on in life. Hopelessness is a major risk for suicide. The theme for this year's Suicide Prevention Day is creating hope through action. It aims at facilitating opportunities to raise awareness about suicide and to promote action through proven means that will reduce the number of suicides and suicide attempts globally. It is a reminder that there is an alternative to suicide and aims to inspire confidence in every one of us that our actions, no matter how big or how small, may provide hope to those who are struggling. We can all play a role in supporting those experiencing a suicidal crisis or those bereaved by suicide. In India, suicide is a leading cause of death among young people between the ages of 18 and 45. These individuals not only form the major proportion of the Indian population, but are also the future of our society. COVID-19 may not necessarily have increased the rates of suicide, but has undoubtedly brought the discussion around psychological well-being to the forefront. Creating hope through action, thus, at a national level, would entail decentralization of mental health care and empowerment through capacity building. Gatekeeper training is a program that aims at building community reserves. The trained gatekeepers will assist individuals in crisis by reaching out to them, lending a year and facilitating pathways to care. Nimhans has been involved in gatekeeper training programs since 2013 and have trained to date more than 6,000 volunteers as gatekeepers across the country. We have worked with state governments, for example in Sikkim and Chhattisgarh, private and public organizations such as armed forces, the police, academic institutions, students, teachers, lay councillors, NGOs and volunteers. These training programs have been tailored to impart skill relevant across a spectrum of backgrounds with the aim of encouraging feedback about examples of being saved and life being saved in respective communities. This highlights the importance of the program in empowering individuals to help near and dear ones in their vicinity. By sharing experiences and imparting skills, we want to give people the confidence to act in time. Gatekeepers for suicide prevention, through their watchful eyes, sound the alarm and rekindle hope among others by being available. This should be a community effort and all of us can play a very important part in kindling hope and becoming gatekeepers. Thank you. Uh, suicide uh, prevention gatekeeper tra training has uh, has a great impact on me as a public health uh, professional. Uh, uh, after training, uh, I indulge in uh, training other staff, uh, and uh, over the period of two two years, I have uh, been training more than thousand uh, participant, uh, including ASHA worker and uh, frontline worker like Anganwadi and even Mitanin here in Chhattisgarh. 
along with uh, uh, my experience with uh, suicide prevention was uh, i was not very much uh, like uh, all of us aware of uh, it is that much preventable and uh, the thing which is in the, the training which is uh, really has a huge impact on the patient while uh, or the uh, client who's uh, thinking of any kind of uh, thing like uh, suicide uh the thing which i uh, feel is is uh, effective while uh, when i am dealing with a patient with suicidality or a suicidal uh, thought or something is path warm uh, the acronym for uh, suicidal uh, suicide prevention is really helpful for us uh, moreover uh, the thing that uh, preventive part that uh, that even even you know uh, just listening uh, patient listening which which was not there in in my uh, nature i should say uh, honestly so just listening to the patient not giving any advice or something like that 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 it decreases uh, uh, suicide with personally with a patient uh, who who is uh, now um, very productive uh, over the uh, two years during pandemic uh, she committed uh, uh, she attempted suicide actually and she just uh, called me up and it was it was was uh, very um, uh, shaky for me she just called away and uh, i talked to her for a for a while and and uh, asked her uh, promise me for that and she 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 denied earlier then later on she just signed one thing and uh, sent me uh, through whatsapp or something and then i i saw her through the period of uh, two years and she is now uh, i should say she is thriving now and it is it is immense uh, pleasure for me to see her and along with over 500 uh, plus uh, suicide prevention we have done in in our district called chatisgarh uh, baloda bazar chatisgarh so this is the thing from uh, my side thank you so much for listening and inviting me thank you so, um we uh, decided to get gatekeeper training uh, once we realized that uh, i mean we've known that our students are under a lot of stress um, whether to complete phd whether it's related to their work life balance or anything like that um so one of the things we decided uh, that for faculty members of our department we will give them gatekeeper training so they they can identify uh, you know signs of distress uh, so that we can uh, take uh, steps ahead of time right so that we are able to prevent uh suicides from happening uh, students are the most uh, vulnerable group um so we decided to have this uh, gatekeeper training for all our all our faculty members it was very helpful uh, we just had training a, a couple of uh, months ago um, because of covid students were not there so they have started coming in um but in terms of uh, the benefits um what i have realized is uh, as an advisor as a uh, advisor to students who are young adults adults nonetheless uh, i would always uh, stay away from uh, asking them any uh, questions which were not related to subject we talk about right uh, but uh, i have and the other thing we would do is we would always give advice Uh, if once it's a technical subject they ask a question we give advice uh, right if i cannot do this what should i do this is what you do uh, but after the gatekeeper training uh, at least i have taken a step back and uh, started uh, listening a little bit more uh, right it's not just about telling go ahead and do this if you are not able to do this do, do this thing uh, i have kind of taken a step back and uh, listen a little bit more uh, let them do the talking uh, and see what comes out um and that also gives me time to uh, look at their behavior and see if i can identify if things have changed uh, over the last few months the other thing uh, that uh, i've benefited i've always been hesitant about uh, talking about suicide right even when i know the student is in distress or someone is in distress i i would just avoid that topic right um, so 
now after the gatekeeper training we have uh, i think i have some uh, ways uh, that i can figure out how to broach the subject how to uh, at least talk about what they are feeling whether they are actually thinking about these things right um, so those are the two things uh, that i think has helped me uh, because of the gatekeeper training and uh, i hope i never have to use it uh, but uh, it certainly has helped me uh, in those two aspects thank you my experience in the gatekeeper program everyone has a role in preventing suicide work together to promote wellness increase protection reduce risk and promote effective reduce treatment and recovery increase knowledge of the factors and protection from suicidal behavior and promote wellness and recovery uh, and our program and practice protection from suicide risk uh, after training i provide inter, uh, i i provide intervention and counseling to the suicide attempt patient and the patient is fine today uh, miss m 21 year uh, single female completed diploma polytechnic Current unemployed. Since some months, she has talking to self, mutter to self, hearing voice when she is alone. Not clear about who and what does the voice says to her. Getting angry on family members. Few episodes of anger outburst and beaten of family members, and fearful that someone wants to kill her. She had two episodes suicide attempt by cutting and drinking poison. I'm intervention provided to the patient. Uh, firstly, for continuous risk assessment, uh, safety planning, psych about family and patients, ABC analysis, helping the client develop adequate problem solving and coping skills, healthy coping skills, activity scheduling, supporting counseling for the family, enhance adherence to medication. Uh, so thank you uh, for Nimha's team and Gatekeeper training program. Our benefit and knowledge gain and implement uh, implication for patients. Thank you, sir. Hi everyone. Uh, we uh, did the Gatekeeper training this year itself, early January, and the work we do involves working with underserved population who are in marginalized communities and high risk spaces and urban slums. And uh, we have a very, very young team. Majority of them are from psych. So some of them are definitely aware, but gatekeeper training actually was very, very beneficial for us because when you are working in, in real time, it's difficult to navigate, you know, some of these difficult situations when your beneficiaries are suicidal in nature. So it was very informative, very, very real time and extremely enriching. And some of the skills that I think as a team we were able to pick up was around active listening. I think it's very easy to have that conversation around that you have to sit down and listen, but it is very difficult when it comes to implementation. So that is one skill set that we were able to kind of pick it up. Secondly, I feel that identifying cues, you know, people have suicidal thoughts and you know the thoughts around death but that necessarily doesn't mean that the person is going to attempt it at first go you know there are degrees to stressors and there are degrees so we were able to identify some of those markers and we, we are able to apply that as well with our beneficiaries thirdly i also feel that the whole idea like the taboo around suicide linking it to you know even when it's alcoholism or substance abuse or mental health so that judgment has to come however how aware one is because lived experience is very very different right so i think we as a team became more aware and we were able to move away from that stigma from that taboo and to open up those kind of difficult conversations in a very healthy way you know that gatekeeper training kind of provides you that vocabulary to you know create and have those kind of difficult conversations right and personally like how it has helped us in practical ways i'll suggest that i'll, I'll say that you know we've had people because we are a very young team so it's not like it's only the beneficiaries who are you know with you know have suicidal thoughts like 
uh, COVID has had its share of impact in terms of isolation. That has also triggered a lot of individuals in our own personal circles also. So I feel that whole idea of act and react is something which has become very, very clear to us by applying it again and again on what are those SOS steps. So reacting is the first, you know, uh, you can say that response that kind of comes in, but to act mindfully is something Gatekeeper taught us, you know, so we are able to do that. And I think it was extremely, extremely beneficial and we need to get as many people, you know, aware and, you know, get, be a part of this training and, you know, from a prevention point of view, I think it's very, very important. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nimans, for giving me a chance to uh, place in front of you all what has benefited me after this training. Uh, how I would like to start up is, you know, uh, last this COVID, COVID thing has affected me a lot. Yeah. And thanks to Gatekeeper training, I have been able to see myself, my mental health, you know, during this uh, whole lockdown state, there were times where I was uh, psychologically sort of not well, where I was, uh, I would put it up, yes, mentally, yes, yeah, slightly down. And this is all because of the gatekeeper training. I, 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 I'm pretty sure, you know, like I was able to see myself. And yes, having said that now, uh, I work as a team leader for our organization, Freedom Facility, and uh, we provide services to uh, people dependent on drugs, substance abuse, alcoholism, yeah, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, and all. So this gatekeeper training, uh, what it has done to me individually is like it has given me an extra, you know, extra sort of a power to provide my service more effectively. You know, I've been, uh, I go for counseling to uh, different colleges. I'm invited for talks to different colleges. So after this gatekeeper training, I have been able to uh, sort of see different signs, you know, in, in students, and I've been able to uh, make reference, proper reference, yeah, after seeing all those signs. And uh, it has sort of given me uh, an extra edge uh, in uh, sort of building my team more, uh, more better mentally, yeah, and because my my team, you know, my team, uh, the first thing is I need to get better. It has helped me get, get gatekeeper. Then my team needs to get better for better services. And I've been able to do certain things with my team. Uh, and further, my team has been able to provide services, good services, you know. And this gatekeeper training, uh, what I'm grateful about is, you know, I've been able to see a lot of things as in, you know, uh, the stigma or the discrimination that is attached along with the suicide, yeah, with the suicide and and the things that is involved with suicide, you know, yeah. The first thing that I did, I have lost many of my friends to suicide, yeah. I I have my cousins who died to suicide, and those cousins, those who died, did make some uh, hints to me, a call, something like that, you know. But I could never know. It was only after they passed away that you know I, I i got to know like okay they were trying to ask for help but after this gatekeeper training yes you know uh i'm very peculiar about when a person says you know i feel like dying i don't take it as a joke i don't take it as a joke and in this gatekeeper training what i also so much believe is you know uh, our retired principal director sir what he told us was you don't have to be a doctor to save a life you know so me being just an NGO member, a service provider. Yes, I have so much inside me that I don't have to be a doctor to save a life. You know, I have to reach out. And gatekeeper training has given me, like I told you, an extra edge. You know, to reach out. And yes, I will reach out. I will, I will save lives. You know, I have done that. I, I can count on fingers. I've done that. You know, like uh, there are my friends at present, those who have uh, survived suicide. We meet today and. Uh, we talk about it, we laugh about it, you know, and then we go and reach out also. We have a survival group, okay? The, the members are all those who have uh, survived from suicide. We meet, you know, and yes, we think of a plan to reach out, you know, to go to place where suicides have occurred. We try to meet up with the family and this gatekeeper training has helped us, you know, uh, help me individually. 
And the first thing that I said was, yeah, it has made me able to see myself, my mental health during this whole COVID thing, you know. And what I'm, uh, what, what has humbled me is, you know, like even professionals, though I'm not a professional, but even professionals can have a mental lockdown. Yeah. yeah? And this gatekeeper training uh, showed me this. Yeah. And more of this gatekeeper training, the better it is for the service providers. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much, Nimans, for giving me this chance to uh, put in front of you all what I've got. It. Thank you. Thank you, Nimans, for giving me an opportunity and inviting me to share my experience on the Gatekeeper uh, program training and further work. I have completed the Gatekeeper program in 2017 from Nimans. I have applied to this program to learn and improve my difficulties that I was going through in my life from the experts in the field of mental health. The Gatekeeper program broadly trained uh, volunteers on prevention aspect of mental disorders and promotion of mental health. Overall, my experience in the Gatekeeper program was very beneficial as I could relate my life experiences with the various aspects covered during the program. The skills gained from this program have proved to be very useful and I could implement those in my day-to-day -day life. Among the skills learned, those are firstly, the psychosocial competence and various interventions to improve the life skills. Secondly, managing stress. Thirdly, basic counseling skills, then assessing suicidal tendency. These skills were translated practically through various platforms. Few among those are by organizing promotional camps, training sessions, one-to-one -one interactions, and referral to hospitals for treatment. At personal level, it was very helpful in caring for family members who are differently abled and senior citizens with psychiatric symptoms. At the professional level, it was executed to train youth who are mostly the students attending higher education institutions due to the nature of my job. Overall, my volunteering experience has, has improved my confidence and commitment to work on the prevention of mental disorders and promotion of mental health. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, this is Kavi Juri Rai again, sharing my experience. My experience uh, when having this gatekeeper training was that I had an immense impact on myself as a mental health worker. And we have provided this training on ASHAs and other health workers as well. And I'm pretty sure they also had an immense impact on themselves and their mental health. So while talking about skills, uh, I think uh, before I only indulged myself into the verbal cues, but through this mental, uh, through this gatekeeper training, what I got to know is we should not be ignoring the non-verbal cues as well. So this is the skills that I've learned from gatekeeper training. And also, uh, and also the early signs that we should not ignore those early science too. So now when I apply these skills to my clients, which has uh, ultimately led, led to a very healthy recovery. I so that's it for my experiences. I am working as a medical officer in a district hospital in Chhattisgarh. Uh, before uh, my training from Nibhans, we looked to the suicide. Uh, suicide. So we were concerned about their medical legal part and plus their uh, uh, medical treatment. After my training from Nibhans, I have got a very different approach. Even uh, all my junior staff has got very different approach to the treatment. We started screening uh, patient, even the college student and various groups of population, we started screening for suicide prevention. And uh, the IPD patient, inpatient department, we used to approach uh, to the wards every day and uh, whosoever comes to counsel them and we uh, ask them to uh, come to our DMHP OPD and there we start their treatment. And uh, on observing that we find that the suicidal tendency is not that in one day, it uh, associated with some kind of neurotic or psychotic mor comorbidity. And suicide itself is a very common comorbidity and more commonly after the COVID outbreak. So uh, around 400 to 500 patients I have seen in last one year. And uh, among that, uh, 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पेशेंट मतलब विच आई रिमेम्बर इज वन हु वॉज सो मच इन डिप्रेशन दैट ही had the history of bed wetting due to depression in night and i have seen uh, this case for the first time that a, a very adult patient is having bed, bed wetting complaint due to depression and uh, he used to follow me on opd i also started him on drug due to severe suicide uh, due to severe depression uh, later on he improved in symptoms and at present he is very very confident he is a very high profile in a, in job in government so after he is totally good in his work uh, a state level officer so i am very good to see him and every time when he used to uh, come to opd he always used to thanks us and for that i used to thanks him hands because treating a such a uh, patient in our government setup is very a prized position thing for us thank you sir uh, i received my gatekeeper training on 2019 and after getting the gatekeeper training what i benefited is that uh, for me i think it's one kind of format or model for us to train the uh, other health staff and ashas and so that we can uh, make them uh, early identify the risk factors uh, in like uh, before anything can happen so uh, this is one of the benefit that i think i have got it and the skill that i've received is like cautioning skills uh, we like uh, out in sikkim there is so much of uh, stigma attached uh, uh, related to society and mental health so this is like a gatekeeper training uh, make us understand that uh, we not only the professionals but even the community health workers and even the other lay person can also prevent suicide so that is one of the plus point that we can uh, uh, get through from gatekeeper training and um, the skills that uh, cautioning skill is one of the skills that we uh, uh, that i have learned and next is the uh, active listening skills okay, so that we can uh, even we can train the ushers and other health workers regarding those kind of skills and uh, my experience uh, through gatekeeper is that uh, during the covid uh, uh, situation uh, we need to tele counseling uh, all the uh, uh, positive cases uh, uh, those are isolated so through that we identify certain cases and we could uh, our asha could link up with those uh, patients and they could link up with us and we could treat them through telephonic counseling also so uh, those are the things that that i have learned from uh, gatekeeper training and uh, in the future plan what i uh, what i think like we should also train this gatekeeper training to nodal teachers and the school students like uh, those school like uh, students who are representative of the classes so we can uh, train them and identify the high risk group and then we can coordinate with the uh, school uh, school professionals so uh, to uh, provide them a good service so that is the thing that we can uh, that i have done thank you so like my colleague krishna ma'am just said that you know it it has been helpful even for the uh, covid pandemic that we are facing right so uh, before that what i would like to say is that you know it uh, this gatekeeper training has been very crucial for us in sikkim as we know that you know it is one of the uh, major issues we are facing in sikkim so we have been working uh, we have been in this post for around 5 years we have uh, so before the gatekeeper training what we were doing we we had a theoretical knowledge but then uh, most of it was the warning signs and you know the risk factors but we didn't know what to go what to do beyond that right so the gatekeeper training has really equipped us with such skills you know as to uh, the importance of questioning because we as mental health professionals we ourselves we sometimes you know we we have this brain fog as to what to say next or how to question so such things i think it has really helped us uh, to know the importance of questioning because once we question then we know right so and how to you know navigate about difficult conversations because it is really difficult for the patient to open up about such things right so how how we should be navigating about such uh, conversations that also it is uh, i think uh, this training has really equipped us with right and you know uh, 
the risk assessment. And after we figure out whether it is a high risk or a low risk, then what we should be doing next, right? Uh, when we should be referring and what is the immediate intervention that we should be doing. And uh, the best thing about, you know, the best thing about this um, training is that it's not limited to mental health professionals only. So as my colleague said, you know, Asha workers, Aganwadi workers, and uh, other psychologists were saying that, you know, we could train it to teachers and anybody, anybody can impart this training and, you know, help save a life. Do things as a human, do the, uh, save a life, you know. So that in itself is such a big thing for us, right? So that's the best thing about this uh, program. And uh, through this uh, gatekeeper training, what we've also seen is that, you know, people are more uh, openly coming to us about such uh, issues. You know, they are coming to us saying that, you know, I have been feeling about, I have been having thoughts about, you know, uh, uh, taking my own life. So we know what to do next, right? Uh, whether it is the immediate uh, crisis intervention or whether we should be using the safety plan intervention. So this training has really helped us in such a, in such a way. So now we as uh, mental health professionals, we are, uh, we are able to provide better services and more effective services. So that is all thanks to the Gatekeeper program. Thank you. Thanks to Nimhan for giving me the opportunity to express my views on the Gatekeeper training program in suicide prevention. I had attended this program in 2017 and it was an eye opener for me as it uh, gave me in-depth uh, knowledge information. It was experiential for me and it also helped me to identi identify person at risk for suicide. Uh, I knew I came to learn about how to take immediate intervention and to and there was uh, easy assessment for prevention of suicide. The sessions were very interactive and a lot of case studies were discussed, uh, asking the right question at the right time to understand the suicidal in, uh, intent was addressed by the facilitator. Um, I love the session and I will treasure it because there was a lot of interaction with the team and with the facilitator and they actually handheld us, each one of us through the entire session. The skills that I developed through this session were uh, empathy, uh, active listening to be, a, uh, you know, not to be an advisor, but to empathetically understand and uh, understand the condition or the position of the client, of my client, provide the right help and support at the right time. And this has been extremely important lesson that I learned from the facilitator during this, uh, you know, uh, program. Uh, especially the is path warm. The preliminary suicide risk assessment has been a great help to understand my client's condition, especially my students, my adult clients who I handle. Uh, when it comes to uh, what kind of work that I have done, so I have created a lot of awareness camps in schools and corporate organizations on the prevention of suicide. And um, I have taken with me all the lessons that I have learned, uh, you know, in the sessions, I've taken it with me and I've addressed uh, my people accordingly. Um, I have also provided support uh, during this pandemic, uh, you know, to prevent suicide in my community and have connected with Nimhans continuously and being there at the right time, understanding the signs and symptoms and providing the early intervention uh, has enabled me to, you know, provide support and in decreasing the rate of suicide, at least within the people I know or I came in touch with. My life skills classes in school, in Delhi Public School, is all about helping students to gain awareness of their thoughts and emotions and sensitizing them about the importance of mental health and emotional wellness. Thank you so much to Nimhan for giving me the support. Thank you. Gatekeeper's training in suicide prevention is a very significant training, which is quite essential for a practicing counselor. It has been my experience that prior to the training, I had an instant when one student stopped me on the corridor and told, I want to talk to you. Uh, and I knew that she was in a hurry to discuss. So I was frequenting the school once in a while. I had not been regular to the school. And I happened to sit with her and discuss. And after telling all her problems, she ended up telling, saying, 
I don't want to live anymore. And the conversation stopped. I was totally unaware and I was totally taken aback about what to do next. And she went into the class and I was left restless throughout the day and I couldn't even sleep on that day. Uh, I couldn't sleep on that uh, particular uh, night. I had to go back to the school the next day morning to see whether the student had come to the school or not. Fortunately, she was there. But then later I happened to attend one of the gatekeepers training, probably the first gatekeeper training conducted by Nimans in 2030. And that gave me the confidence as a counselor to deal with such instances in school settings. And often people think it is quite uncommon in school it is quite uncommon among adolescents, it is quite um, uncommon among youth and young people, young population. But it is not the case. I have come across many instances where I, they have come and expressed their hopelessness, their helplessness, and even suicidal ideation. And self-harm is quite common, very quite common in all school settings, irrespective of the age. I have seen that happen even in probably six standards, seven standard students harming themselves. And I was able to handle it thanks to NIMAX and thanks to the great keeper training. I was able to analyze the level of risk. And also I learned when to refer the case to an expert. So that is something which I have been doing in all these years. I have referred a couple of cases to Niman Center for Wellbeing, especially when such instances come because it is beyond the scope of a practicing counselor or the school administration or a teacher handling such instances in schools. I wish, I earnestly want all the government agencies to understand the importance and spread this great keepers training as a part of curriculum in school and colleges, especially teaching faculty, and especially for people who are going to pick that as a career. Postgraduates in psychology, teachers, trainers, training, this should be a part of the curriculum. Gatekeeper training should be a part of the curriculum because I have often seen the teachers and the administration school are totally unprepared about what to do in such instances. They make life quite comfortable, especially for students who happen to harm themselves or when they come across instances of suicidal ideation. They're totally unprepared and they don't know what to do. They really make it difficult the life difficult for students or probably the young uh, people, young population. So it's quite important that this becomes a part of the curriculum in, and a lot of training keeps happening. I'm glad that uh, in immense has uh, come forward and uh, is doing gatekeepers training for even institutional fa faculties in great big institutions. That is a very positive sign and thanks to Nimans. Today, I am a confident person handling such instances in school setting. Thank you. Asking someone about suicide is never simple and never easy. But it's an important question to ask because unless you know what the person is thinking, you won't be able to uh, you know, provide help. The gatekeeper training program aims to do just that, to enable people uh, who are non-professionals to talk about suicide, to ask about thoughts of self-harm, to provide support and hope. As you saw from the various testimonials uh, of our gatekeeper training program, uh, these various people from across the country with varying backgrounds have found it uh, very useful to go through the gatekeeper training program, to become effective gatekeepers, to prevent suicide in their own way and to also instill hope in a large number of people. We hope that the Nimhans gatekeeper tra training program continues uh, in the way we have already done, continues to be successful 
and trains a wide variety of people from different backgrounds. They may be teachers, hostel wardens, police personnel, people in the military, um, student leaders, uh, youth groups uh, and a wide variety of people so that uh, we can prevent suicide in our country and offer hope to those uh, who are contemplating it. Thank you.